How's it going guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be running you through a shoulder workout which uses machines and kettlebells only. First things first what you're seeing on the screen is the after shots and the pump that I got from this workout. So I can guarantee that it will really pump your shoulders without even having to go into the free weights area or even having to use you know, a standing overhead press or a seated military press. So you can see that my doubts are absolutely on fire in this footage here. So first things first, you want to do a warm up on a machine shoulder press. I normally put it on the, the first peg which is 11 kgs and I'll just press that for a while. Move up the pegs as we go forward and we'll do four sets of this. Um, you don't really want to go for the heaviest weight in the world here, you just want something to, uh, to warm up the shoulders and get them some blood flowing into them there. I then move on to if your machine, if your gym has this machine, this is a doubt raise machine. I've noticed that most gyms have it. You really want to put the weight up on this here and just squeeze at the top and let it fall. Squeeze at the top, let it fall. I normally go for about four sets at 10 to 12 reps on this exercise. Really just pumps them shoulders to how. As you can see, I'm squeezing the bar here to try and when I get to the top and I really hold it and that's important you don't want to let go because I used to, when I was younger I used to let go and let my hands flare out at the top but you want to focus on that squeeze at the top that's why it's so important so here we're going into a cable doubt raise and these are really good. Um, if you don't have access to the freeway area or if it's too busy, which today it was way too busy for me, um, you can get the cable, set it up with a single arm, lean off one of the poles, so you need a slight lean to yourself, and then raise it above your ear you're trying to get. Try and reach with the sky as high as you can. Four sets of 12 reps here. Then we want to gra grab some lighter weight kettlebells. The lowest in my gym were the 8 kg, so I went with these here. Um, and I did some kettlebell swings to really hit the front delt area. And this is going to be a little bit of a circuit that you're going to run through. So you really want to focus on getting that nice and high in between the legs. And trying to not use your, moment, your momentum for this, but more use your shoulders itself. Then we're going to do some shoulder press with some kettlebells. This is quite a good exercise for the core as well. You'll find that you need to stabilize them a lot more. See, and you get to rest them on your shoulders, touch and go, up and down, real nice and simple. A quite a good builder, even with eight kgs aside, when you're standing and you're stabilizing yourself, I find this is a very effective movement. So this would be in the circuit as well. Um, you wanna try and do this for three rounds of each exercise. Then we did some lateral raises with the kettlebells. Now, this is quite hard because I used the 8kg kettlebells because that's the lightest we had. If you want to go lower, feel free to do 8kg. It's quite hard to, to raise above your ear. You really want to focus on the movement more than not the weight and getting it up. Then you want to do some standing front raises with a kettlebell. These work very effectively. You can see my forearms putting in some work here. Great for trap building and great again for the doubt building as well. You want to let it hang for a second at the bottom and then pull it back up. You don't want to speed through these. You want to real feel that contraction and squeeze as with most exercises. You can see here it's all about that sweet squeeze. I then picked up some heavier weights, I uh, went for the 24s because I like to finish off with shrugs. Shrugs are quite a minute exercise, um, by me it's a minute muscle, so I normally leave it to the end because you know, it requires the less strain. You just want to focus on holding, keep your head down. If you have your head up, you'll find that you're blocking your traps for the full movement. So keep your head down, real focus, squeeze at the top, back down, squeeze at the top, back down. And that was today's exercise routine for me. I did this because I got to the gym and I realized that it was so damn busy. Like I couldn't get into the freeway area. My camera couldn't get in anywhere. So, you know, I just didn't want to be barging through people and saying, hey, move out my way, um, you know? So 
I had a look around and I was like, you know what would be a good idea? Some people don't want to go into the free weights area and they'd rather go into, you know, use some kettlebells and you can use, you could even just buy two sets of kettlebells off the internet off Amazon and use them for your workouts. So that is today's workout. If you find this interesting and you enjoyed it, please drop it a like. And while you're here, if you can subscribe or drop me a comment, that'd be absolutely awesome. So thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.